Ricky Whitten was killed last year after his mother called 911 for help. Back in February, WPBF 25 News exclusively obtained surveillance video that appears to show Whitten get shot in the back as he runs from deputies. Now, more than six months after the shooting, there's been no decision on whether to file criminal charges, and Whitten's family has decided to file a civil lawsuit. The wrongful death suit filed today in federal court claims Palm Beach County deputies didn't do enough to help 46-year-old Ricky Whitten, a diagnosed schizophrenic who was having suicidal thoughts. I still feel like he's going to walk through the door. So. The kids talk about him a lot. And... They feel like they feel his presence. Dana Clausen, Ricky Whitten's girlfriend and the mother of his three young children, continues to grieve six months after Whitten was shot and killed by Palm Beach County Sheriff's Deputy Justin Rigney. They did not handle the situation like they should have. It was a cry for help. And he didn't get help. Stuart Kaplan, the family's attorney, calls the case another in a long line of unjustified police shootings in Palm Beach County. Ricky's mother was on the phone for 40 minutes basically telling the 911 operator that my son is in an emotional crisis or having an emotional crisis. That's a perfect example of how we want our first responders to come on scene and try to de-escalate the situation. We can't confirm exactly what was said on that 911 call. Our request was denied because the call is part of the investigation. But WPBF 25 News has confirmed through phone records, Diane Whitten, Ricky's mother, called 911 at 1.04 a.m. and that call lasted 46 minutes. Video from a neighbor's security camera captured what happened December 31st, 2016, the night of the shooting. When someone who's in a state of emotional crisis sees flashlights, you know, uh, blinding you, assault rifles being pointed at you, people screaming at you, all of these things going on is only going to heighten and escalate this situation. As deputies arrive on scene around 1.55 in the morning, Whitten starts to walk away from the porch where he was sitting. Deputies use non-lethal force, shooting rubber bullets. Whitten falls twice but gets up and continues running away from deputies. He falls a third time. Then a deputy fires his weapon, hitting Whitten, and he goes down. Ricky is running away from them, and he's shot in the back. And why do we know that? Is because after he's hit, he falls forward, and then he gets up and he continues to run away from them. And certainly with respect to the lethal shot that is taken, Ricky gets up, and then you see him shot in the back, and then falls forward and never gets up again. The sheriff's office released this statement to WPBF 25 News earlier this year in response to the video. The video show Whitten running towards the canine deputy with knife in hand. The canine deputy, in fear for his life and the life of his canine partner, discharged his firearm, striking Whitten in the torso area. As we reported last month, the Florida Department of Law Enforcement has concluded its investigation into the shooting. An FDLE spokesperson tells me the case is now being reviewed by the state attorney's office. In the suit, Kaplan claims Justin Rigney, the canine deputy who shot Whitten, fabricated the story about Whitten lunging at him with a knife. There is nothing on this video that suggests that at the time this full-on assault happened that actually Ricky was still in possession of a knife. WPBF 25 News has also learned Deputy Rigney is no longer on the canine unit. According to his personnel file, he has been reassigned to road patrol in Wellington. Rigney was also placed on administrative leave with pay just last month on an unrelated case. Now, I have reached out to the attorney for the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office for comment. He has yet to return my call.